kids, be free. Be whatever you are, do whatever you want to do. Just so long as you don't hurt anybody. Good afternoon. Uh, it seems that your company, your uh, corporation or organisation or whatever, has sent a letter to my home address. Right, okay. It's addressed to my partner. I won't be giving you her name because there is no joinder on this account. Now, I'm sure you know what I mean. No, it's your, your reference, reference number. number. It's your yeah. reference number. It's one six seven four five seven five five. Okay. That's your reference number. Okay. Yeah. So my, my colleagues have added that to myself there. Um, right. And obviously he's, he's explained the situation um, as you've explained it to him. Obviously, what we want to do is if we're sending uh, letters out to the to, to the wrong property and everything like that, it's something that we we don't want to do. Obviously, we want to make sure that you know we're not. I'm disturbing you at your residence when this has nothing to do with yourself. Um, I mean, could you confirm the first line of your address there so that I can confirm that's what I've got here and then we can, you know... I will not be giving you any details about my address or any joinder on this account, OK? Now, I've told your colleague, I'll tell you. I am recording this phone call. This will be put in the public sector as soon as I've finished. OK, now what you're trying to do is you're trying to facilitate corruption, okay? Now you are alleging, listen to me please, you are alleging that my partner owes Capital One £1,493.81. Now under the Credit Act, okay, if you know anything about credit, you should do, your CSA membership and uh, consumer credit regulated, when you're given credit, the original document, the original agreement has to be signed by both parties, the person giving the credit and the person receiving the credit. Now I can guarantee, guarantee you that your client, Capital One Europe PLC, does not have any documentation. Now I will be asking Capital One, or actually I'll be asking yourselves and Capital One to provide this documentation. If you cannot, I'll be taking legal action against yourselves for trying to pursue my partner for fraudulent money. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name, sir. My name is Screen Crowface. Your name is what, sorry? Screen Crowface. Can you spell that for me? S C R E A M. C R O W space F A C E. Okay, um, fair enough. How, how would you like me to refer to yourself on, throughout this call? You can press me a screen entirely up to you, I don't mind. Okay, sir. So, um, as I'm sure you're aware, I'm not being left to discuss this matter with yourself without your partner's permission under the Data Protection Act 1998. <laughs> 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 oh dear! Yeah, okay, sorry. Okay, so I won't be able to discuss this with you without your partner's express permission, okay? Um, is your partner there at all? You will not be given any joinder on this account, okay? Now, you are trying to extort money, okay? Which is what you're trying to do. You're part of the Lau Group. I know the Lau Group are third party interlopers. They buy credit, or they buy someone's debt. As soon as debt is bought, liability has passed. So I suggest you stop sending letters to this address. 
I'm removing your implied rights of access to this address. Any more letters that I have to respond to by telephone call will be charged. At the moment, I will not be charging you for this phone call and this time. If any more letters are received, I will be phoning you up and I will be dealing with them appropriately with the appropriate charge. I suggest you put some notes down on your system in regards to this. And if you do send me any more letters trying to pursue money from anybody in this household, I will take this down a legal and lawful route and pursue charges against yourselves. Okay, so, so what I'll do is I'll make a note of what you've said today and um, we'll get this looked into. We'll mark this off the trace and see if we can, obviously, um, yeah, see if we can find an alternate address for your, for your partner there. Um, you shouldn't be receiving any of your letters to ourselves, you know, if she, she's not residing there. As I say, we're, we're attempting to contact your partner with regards to this, not yourself. If um, you're not going to be able to give us you know, permission to speak to her on the phone, she's not willing to speak to ourselves. We're not going to get permission to speak to you, then realistically there's, there's not, nothing that I can do to discuss this with yourself. As I'm sure you're probably aware under the Data Protection Act, I'm not going to be able to do that, and to do so would be a breach. Um, I'll make a note of what you said here today. Um, oh to dear, I still try and still believe in your own little lies. lies. In any way to um, any charges or you know, any invoices that, 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 you, you're, that you could potentially send to ourselves in the future. Um, if you do have any further issues with regards to this moving forward, you're more than free to speak to myself. My name is William Milne. I'll give you my extension number and we can always take it from there. As I say, I'll make a note on here um, and then we'll just, you know, we'll just have to take it from there. Well... You just keep on believing that it's data protection, it's not. All you want is a joinder on the account, okay? You can't trick me into giving you any joinder on this account, I'm afraid, William. Okay, okay so, um, so I'm, I'm making sure you're not trying to trick you into doing anything, but without you know, your partner's permission to discuss this with yourself, we're not going to to discuss this with you. Well, no, I've told you, okay, that Capital One do not possess any documentation which proves that my partner owes them this money. Okay, I've told you that, right? I'm also telling you that if you try and pursue this money anymore, then I will take legal and lawful action against yourselves for trying to pursue money that my partner does not owe because there's no legal documentation proving that my partner owes this money. You are, you are facilitating, your company is facilitating a criminal act. And what's the criminal act, sir? The criminal act is fraud and fraudulent credit. Okay. Um, and how are we committing fraud, sir? Well, I've told you how. I've told you. Capital One, you are trying to pursue money on behalf of Capital One. Yes? I'm not going to be able to discuss anything in relation to this matter with yourself, sir. Because you know I'm in the right. The reason I'm not going to discuss that with yourself, sir, as, as I said, is so because I won't give you any joinder on the account. The person that we're trying to get in contact with. No, it's because you won't be given any joinder on the account. That's why you won't discuss it with me. You won't discuss it because you haven't been given any joinder on the account. This isn't my first rodeo, William, okay? This isn't my first rodeo, my friend. This this phone call is going to be put in the public sector, OK? OK. So if Fredrickson tries to send any more letters to anybody else at my address, then I will respond to them. You will be billed for my time, and I will take further action against yourselves for facilitating a criminal act with Capital One Europe PLC. If I receive any more correspondence from Fredrickson International, mm -hmm. I will respond accordingly and bill you accordingly for my time. Okay. So I've made a note of that for yourself that you don't want us to contact you in relation to any investigation that we do into you know, the, the situation as you've stated it today. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.